Hi everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am using Lawn Fawn's plain and simple stamp set here. I've had this in my stash since it was released and I've never used it and I think it's absolutely adorable. So I decided to pull out a couple of the plain, the plain image here and the banner and we're going to stamp him out using um, my favorite things, Extreme Black Ink. That's the ink I've been using quite frequently for Copic coloring. Um, I have about three or four and it's whichever one's closer to me is the one I grab. So <laughs> I'm going to stamp him out with that and then I will layer the banner over top of it. And we're going to get all of our images stamped out here before we start on our Copic coloring. This card came together really, really fast. Um, it at, at regular speed, it was only about 20 minutes. So I sped it up not quite two times the speed. So I got like an 11 minute video here for you guys. And that's the entire process. That's all of the stamping, all of the coloring, the water coloring, the die cutting, all that fun stuff and putting it all together. Because I had a really, really good time making this card. I truly enjoyed using this set. I have a few more little lawn fawn sets kicking around that I haven't gotten around to using since I purchased them. And I really should. So um, I'm hoping to do a few more here in the future coming up. Uh, now that I've got everything situated in my world, although it's about to explode again because it just started summer here. Uh, summer holidays for school I'm talking about. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can get more videos done. I got, you know, the work area cleaned up and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to add a couple little smiley faces to the first three clouds and then I stamp down an extra medium and small cloud that I'm not going to put any faces on just to layer into the background of our card once we're putting it all together here. So I just kind of work on my stamping and layers. Like I did the, the plane and then the banner and then I did the congratulations in the first three clouds and now I'm going to add the smiley faces in the last two clouds. It just makes sense in my brain. I could probably accomplish it faster like if I was to do, you know, the plane and the clouds and all, but I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted when I first stamped the plane. So now that we got all of them done, we're going to start coloring everything up. As you can see, I put all of the caps to the colors I'm using on the side of the screen there so you can see everything as we're going through and I'm just starting off with our airplane here and then we'll work our way through the rest of the images. So if you're Canadian, I hope you guys had a fantastic Canada day yesterday. Um, mine was really mellow. I kind of, I cleaned house and hung out and I went over to a buddy's. Um, we had a little bit of a fire, went and saw some fireworks and I was home and in bed by like 1030 because I should be a grandma because my bedtime situates grandmahood. But I was also up at 5.30 this morning, so I'm currently waiting for coffee to quit brewing because I got up and switched laundry loads and started tidying up and whatnot, so then it's now quarter to seven, and I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, so I figured, okay, put coffee on, I'll sit down, I'll do this voiceover, but then the coffee pot should be done, and I can sit and have coffee and film another video, because that's what we should do this morning, I think. It's holiday Monday, I don't have to work, I'm getting paid to sit at home, I might as well make some cards. Sounds like a great plan to me, right? So I'm doing the all of the little fins and things on the airplane as well as that center cap on the propeller um, yellow. Then we're just going to color in the black tire down here using three different shades of gray as well. I tend not to do any flat coloring on everything and I seem to cram three colors no matter what. No matter how small that image is, I will put more colors than should be put in there in. <laughs> there is no reason to put three colors into those that tire but I did it don't feel bad if you don't because you don't have to so now I'm going to work on the airplane and I decided to make the airplane red because the background is going to be blue so it's kind of like a primary color type thing right red yellow blue um so I'm starting off with R59 this is my favorite bright red combo that I've had for the last little bit it'll change again they always do I rotate through and my mood changes and whatnot. So R29. Well, it's been a while since I filmed Copic coloring. My hand is in the way. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I will get better at that again. I used to be really, really good at keeping my hand out of the way. There we go, Jesse. Then I kind of got out of practice with making videos. I was doing like a few a week and now I've slowed right down again and I'm hoping, I'm hoping to pick back up, fingers crossed. But, um, when you don't do something all the time, you lose those habits of making sure I'm holding my hand so that the camera can see what I'm coloring. I also tend to, on the first color, hold my marker more vertically just because I'm laying in all of my shadows. 
So that could be part of it as well. So we're just going to put this color in and then our lightest color just for the highlight on the tip top of that plane. And that's super cute. I think that plane is absolutely adorable. Cutest thing ever. Absolutely adorable. My cat is now laying on my feet. Um, okay, I digress. Back to the coloring. We're going to use some of the E40s to fill in our banner so it looks more paper-esque. And I'm just going to blend them all together. I think my son is talking to me at that moment. That's why I'm not on screen and I forgot to clip that out of, um, out of the, out of the video. Sorry. I don't know. My brain just kind of went for a nap. That was weird. <laughs> Blending everything together. So as I'm Copic coloring, when I'm going over top of our darkest colors and working out, I'm going back over top of the darkest color all the time with the lighter ones. When I use more colors, like in that red, I don't go all the way back as I get to like the R05 and whatnot. But on this, when I'm using these three, everything but the zero marker, I'm taking all the way back to those stamped lines so that I get a smooth transition through all of my colors and I don't have, um, I don't have any hard lines where I go from a darker color to a lighter color. So we're just working on our puffy clouds now. I'm going to start with N3 and I'm going to do them all at once. Because it's super simple and super basic coloring. I'm just putting a shadow on the bottom side and then on the left side of all of the clouds. And then just the right side of that one little bump. Just because I thought it needed something there. Uh, I'm off screen with one cloud. That's why you guys didn't see that. Hmm. Jassy, Jassy, Jassy. Anyway. N1 and I'm blending that out. And then I'm going to pop in with a B60. And that's just going to give those clouds a little bit of a bu a bu a little bit of a blue undertone to them. It just gives them a little more life and they don't look quite so stark and gray and white against the contrast of the ultramarine blue that I'm going to use to create the background. Oh, I didn't have another cloud there. Never mind. You did get to see them all. There we go, Jesse, right into the marker. Do that again on the next color. <laughs> so this is adding in that little bit of a blue hue and it's more of a grayed out blue. Like it's kind of like a purpley blue. So I really like putting it in to clouds and things because it just gives them that little bit of life and brightness that I think they need. And then I'll blend it out with the N0. I told you I did it on the next one. I do that all the time. I usually think to clip it out, but whatever. Not a big deal, right? We all do that. I just like grab my marker and yank it open. I don't check what side the little gray ring is on. <laughs> so N0 and then I'll blend everything together um, in the middle with the colorless blender, which will push some of that color back and will make those clouds look a lot whiter than they currently do. Then I don't have the dies for this stamp set, so I'm just going to take my Cutter B scissors here and cut them all out. Poof, look at that. Wasn't that fast? Um, <laughs> so now I'm working on my background here, and this is just a piece of Arches 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. And I'm just going over and throwing down some ultramarine blue paint. It's just straight color. This um, pan set here, I built myself. It is all Stone Ground Paint Company. They're, uh, a handmade paint company that's kind of local to me. They're from Regina. I'm like two hours away, but I stop in there and pick up a new fan or two of paint every time I'm in the city. They <laughs> they know me there. Um, so I, I really enjoy their paints. The quality is really, really smooth. They do a beautiful job of um, of mixing their paints. It's not bubbly. It's not over pigmented. It's not under pigmented. I think they're really, really well done. I will have a link to them in the description box below. Now I'm just stamping out our sentiment here. So this is, see I have paint on my arm. <laughs> anyway, this is the You're Plain Amazing and I'm stamping it onto that panel I cut out using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Cloud Border die. Now I'm just going through and I'm going to put one more layer of that ultramarine blue onto our, onto our little piece here just so we can darken up part of it and it's not quite so washy. I wanted a lot more vivid color on it so that's what we're going to accomplish here but you're still going to see some of that lighter washy color in the background which is what I was after and why I did the two layers and just didn't go with stronger pigment right off the start. Like I said I will have a link to this um, to the Stone Ground Paint Company in the description box below. They do ship so I will have that and then um, all the stamps and dies and all that fun stuff will also be in the description box. Now I'm just using Nouveau liquid glue here to assemble our card. Honestly, it's because I've had a double sided tape and I need to order some and I haven't ordered any <laughs> because I'm trying to not buy anything until August. And um, I know if I go online to order tape, I'm going to order other stuff with it because why wouldn't I make it worth paying shipping to Canada? 
Anyway, so I'm really trying to put it off. So I'm using liquid glue for most of my cards right now, which works great as long as you're easy on it and you don't over lump it. It doesn't make your paper all wavy and stuff like it did with typer paper when you were in elementary school. So we're just going down our my little cloud panel here, and then I'm going to pull out all of my little clouds and um, airplane, and we're going to start adhering all of those guys onto the front of the card here. So I'm going to start with our big cloud. Then you'll see that I drop it on the top card panel. See? Look. Ugh. Then I rub it with my finger and I make it red so it gets even worse. I'm not sure how I got red on my finger, but I did. So then I come in with um, a glue eraser here and I just scrub at it and it actually pulls it all off. And it does, you don't even notice it at the end, which is awesome. So I cleaned up that glue. Shouldn't have rubbed it with my finger. Should have just gone for that right off the start. But yeah, that's how I fixed that little oopsie. Now we're just going to layer all these little clouds together here. And then put our put our airplane on and that will be the end of the card. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you do like seeing my videos, YouTube does a funny thing. So there's a little bell icon and you can click on it and there's a drop down menu and it'll notify you every time I upload. If that's something you're interested in. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like these um, cute little clean and simple cards and would like to see more of them, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the description box below. And yeah, all of my links to social media and groups and all the supplies will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys very, very soon in another video. I hope you enjoyed and bye for now.